afternoon, Foundation staff. This is level four researcher Theron Sherman, and today's briefing ain't no Hotel California. We're talking about SCP-5062, object class, safe. Special containment procedures. The hotel containing SCP-5062 has been vacated by the Foundation under the pretense of unsafe building conditions. Foundation security personnel ought to maintain the cover of an independent security company assigned to the property to keep guard over SCP-5062. Individuals who have survived exposure to SCP-5062 ought to be monitored in their public lives and their body parts kept in cold storage following drone retrieval. Any testing involving SCP-5062 must be approved by the current project head. Description SCP-5062 is room 233 of the Echo Hotel in Moscow, Russia. The room contains a king-size bed, a writing desk, a mini-fridge, and a nightstand containing a copy of the King James Bible. When removed from the room, these articles will return as soon as they are unobserved. When an individual enters the empty SCP-5062, they will find themselves unable to leave. In addition, individuals outside the room will be unable to enter or retrieve the victim. No physical barrier exists preventing exit or entry, but all individuals involved will find themselves unable to even contemplate performing such actions. At the same time an individual becomes trapped inside SCP-5062, a pair of scissors will spontaneously manifest on the writing desk. If the writing desk is not currently in the room, they will instead appear on the carpet. The size and specific form of these scissors will vary depending on the trapped individual, but are consistently at least 7.5 centimeters long. Once these scissors appear, the trapped individual will become aware that they are the only method of leaving SCP-5062, and that's by using said scissors to sever one of their own body parts. The specific body part required to be severed in order to leave SCP-5062 differs from case to case. Once severed, the body part in question will rapidly become shriveled and blackened, and the victim will become able to leave SCP-5062. Following exit, the victim may experience additional symptoms, including elevated levels of generosity and altruism, increased levels of charisma, a significantly greater desire to enact positive change in the world around them. Addendum 5062-1, Victim Log. The following is a record of known individuals who have entered SCP-5062 and left following exposure to its anomalous effects, along with the body parts they lost and details of their lives following exposure. The following table lists subject, body part, and subsequent events. Polina Novikova, female, age 8. Tip of fingernail. No further psychological symptoms noted. Following exposure, Miss Novikova reported the anomaly to her parents staying in the hotel, who subsequently reported it to the authorities. D-2291, male, age 34. Index finger. Following exposure, D-2291 exhibited greater loyalty to fellow D-class and significantly reduced antisocial tendencies. Following release at the end of his employment period, D-2291 returned to his hometown and became an office worker, demonstrating no further criminal tendencies. D-9319, male, age 21. Tongue. Following exposure, D-9319 demonstrated significantly more honesty when dealing with staff. Following release, he went on to donate the remains of his personal funds to victims of fraud. D-4388, female, age 42. Both hands! Ugh. D-4388 expired during exposure to SCP-5062 due to blood loss after cutting off one hand. A muffled moaning sound was subsequently audible beneath the floorboards. Scissors continued moving independently following death and cut off D-4388's second hand before SCP-5062's effects ceased. D-5222, male, age 26. And you should know, this guy was known as the Salivat Ripper. Head. Ugh. Scissors manifested as a pair of large garden shears, which D-5222 utilized after a period of 73 hours. Following self-decapitation, D-5222's body remained animate, and left SCP-5062? When later questioned, supervising personnel were unable to recall why they did not prevent this. Damn right. The headless corpse then left the hotel completely and, over the course of the next 12 months, ran for a position in the local council. No media covering the election, nor individuals consuming said media, were able to perceive D-5222 as a headless corpse. Following its victory, the corpse passed a number of laws protecting the homeless population in the district before finally expiring. The body was recovered and all direct witnesses amnesticized, with a sophisticated misinformation campaign successfully preventing a breach of the veil. Testing involving individuals guilty of numerous counts of first-degree murder suspended indefinitely. Wait, wait a minute. 
Did we know that he was endless too? Did anyone... Did we miss that completely? Someone's getting demoted for letting that one get by. Huh. All right, staff. That ends our broadcast. Use your Foundation Encrypted YouTube account to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and support our broadcast at patreon.com slash site42.